say is we're asking our Senator, Senator Johnson, for two things. We want him, first of all, to vote no and to fight against Trump Care as it's currently written. The other thing is to meet with us, meet with his constituents. He has not had a single town hall. I am caring for an elderly parent um, who has dementia. So I've decreased my hour work with uh, various populations, including um, otherly abled or disabled, um, elderly, um, families who are struggling. And right now I have common ground. And I felt good about it initially. However, it's sad, but um, my deductible is 2,500, so I don't go to the doctor. Recently, I lost my sister, my younger sister, and I, I could use some mental health care support myself, but I don't go. What I'm asking is that uh, Senator Johnson, please hear my story as well as the other stories of your constituents and um, vote no. Thank you. In a way, this is not about health care. And what they're doing is not about Obamacare, Affordable Care Act, hospital costs, drug costs. The purpose of this whole exercise is a huge tax cut for the wealthiest. $600 billion tax cut. Two thirds of it will go to the top 1%. Hands up if you use Medicare, yeah. all right? Medicare is a good system, and Medicare actually is in really good shape. The top one, two percent have been paying a small additional tax, and that's why Medicare is so strong. That tax is going to be eliminated under this plan. They're trying to give some of our money. It's a benefit only for people making more than a quarter million a year in taxable income and the result is to destabilize our lifeline Medicare. Oh. I want Senator Johnson to know that I'm not being paid to be here today. Yeah. Uh, first I want to start off by saying I want you to vote no for this Trump here. Right. No, vote, no, vote, no, vote, no, vote, no, vote, no, vote, no. I want to talk about how this is going to affect my family. Talk about my brother Jordan. Jordan turned 64 in January. Jordan was born with a developmental disability. Jordan's choice isn't between a smartphone and healthcare. My brother has just the bare necessities to live. He cannot afford to pay for his healthcare if this Trump care comes to be. My brother has value. Right. My brother is an important person and we love him. My brother deserves to live. Ron Johnson, vote no for Trump care. Don't kill my brother. Mount Sinai would not be open today if it wasn't for Obamacare because they're running huge deficits all across the state. Mount Sinai, St. Mary's, St. Joe's will be in danger in a few years. Rural hospitals are going to close across the state. It's tax cuts for the wealthy and poverty and death for everybody else. No to Trump care. No to Trump care. No to Trump care! No to Trump care! No to Trump care! Thank you. And uh, I just want to speak up for home care workers because I've been one for quite some time now and I've been taking care of my grandmother and I know how much she needs me to do this and how much everyone out here needs me to do this. So I'm going to take my time just to say I just, I just feel that way and I feel like the young people should take care of the older people. Yeah. And that's the only way we should see it. We are going to hand out balloons that say get well, and it's get well to us, and it's also a message to Ron Johnson since we can't find him, and maybe one of these balloons will find him and he'll get the message. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Anita Johnson. In conclusion of our kickoff, we will release balloons. 
We release the balloons because we want our communities to be aware of the repeal of the Obamacare that protects seniors. We release these balloons because we want Ron Johnson to say no, no. to Trump care. No to Trump care. We release these balloons because we want Ron Johnson to have a town hall meeting for his constituents. Message on. We all need to fight. Please release the blue.